got him. That was the uh, dude who worked for the DA that was trying to enforce the phone policy. He was sitting there waving like it was funny. What's the word, Bay fam? It's your boy, Bay Area Transparency, and we're back at it once again. And for this video, we're in the city of Oroville, California. Oroville, California is up there by Chico. It's in Butte County. And I'm telling you right now, you're about to see the worst behavior from public servants that you've ever seen in your life. I'm just being honest with you. This is bad. And I kept my composure for most of the time. I think I was professional for the good majority of the time. But I stood there and stood up for our rights. Not my rights, not your rights, our rights. I stood there and stood up for our rights even though I was surrounded. I was, they were trying to push me out the door. They were trying to intimidate me. And that's what an audit is. Some people go out and they try to record and do this and that. And are looking for confrontation or looking for interactions. But when asked to leave, they just leave. They never stand up for their rights. That's not an audit. That's not where the education comes from. As always, the first person to find the hidden misspelled word will get their comment pinned directly to the top of the comment section. All you have to do is comment what the word is and leave the timestamp. As well, I'm putting more and more posts on our Instagram. Follow us on Instagram at Bay Area Transparency. Give us a like, give us a share, give us a subscribe. Big Bad Bay, and I'm out, baby. All right, all right, Bay fam, here we go. We got the county administration building, board of supervisors, and county council. So we are gonna go ahead and Take some pictures here, see how it goes. Administration office. Hi, how's it going? Do you need some help Uh, no, I'm good for now. Uh, just here to take some pictures. Uh, for my purpose, my own personal uh, purpose. <laughs> Excuse me? We, we don't allow you to record in here. Oh, So you need really? to take it outside, yes. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. No, um, for well, our safety, you need to go out. Wait, can I ask why or? Because it, we're, we deal with a lot of instruments and, and we don't have recordings other than our recordings in here. So you need you need to go out gotcha. with that. Okay. Or turn it off. Okay. Um, all right, let me just finish up and then I'll no, be up you know out of what? here. I will, um, we can call the district attorney right now and they'll come in here. So if you want to do that, can I ask your name? You don't need my name. You need to leave. You work you here. You need to turn it you off. You work here, right? You need to turn it off. Ma'am, don't try to hit me. I'm not trying to hit you. Yeah, you turn did. Turn it <laughs> off. Turn it off. Do you work here? Turn the camera off. No, trying I'm to get your name. Behind here just to talk to you. If you work for the public, then you're supposed to give us your name. No, so, I don't need to give you my name. Then the district attorney is going to tell you that there's nothing that they can do. You need to look Because this is a public you office. The office. So, can I have your name? No, leave can I, the office. Can I have your name, please? Leave the office. It doesn't, ma'am. It doesn't leave. work like that. <laughs> when I'm done leave taking, when, when yeah. I'm done taking my pictures, I'll leave for sure. When I'm done leave take when I'm office. done taking my leave pictures, I will leave. leave the <laughs> when, when I'm done, I will leave. Yeah. 
Sir, do you mind sitting up? I do, actually, yeah. What? I do. What's going on? Taking some pictures. Device, it's a cell phone. <laughs> they have confidential information back here, man. Well, it should be put away, right? Let's go outside. It's a public office, right? Do you have any business in here? Well, right now, this. Just stolen people? No. He's just wondering. Ma'am, you don't have the authority here. <laughs> Neither do they. <laughs> so it's a public office okay. am i right is this a public lobby it is okay cool so you guys can be on your way then right what's your name man uh i'm not gonna give it but i do need her name because of the way she acted no, no. Right. i don't appreciate it recording me it's enough to get your picture so well <laughs> ma'am i'm gathering content for a story i'm doing no, on this office I so you, you, not... you can't tell me that, ma'am. Calm no. down, please. Calm it down. <laughs> yeah. I don't need any help. Nope. Just gonna take my pictures and I'll be out of here. So that's it. I don't want my information out on Well, if you wouldn't have reacted that way, then it probably wouldn't be there. So, anyways, yeah, I'm just gonna continue to take my pictures. And... Sir, is there any business? Or anything? Well, right now, this is right now. This is my business, so I'm gonna gather right. my content, right. and then right. if right. I have anything yeah. else, I'll ask them. Did you have so. a current situation? That is what I'm asking. Can you and I speak over here? Right? No, I don't need to speak. I don't. I don't need to speak to you guys at all. Don't wish to speak to you. Who are you, by the way? Oh, my name's Sabrina. And I'm, what's I'm your position here? District attorney's office. Here? District attorney's office. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you a lawyer? No, I'm not. Oh, okay. If you were, you would know that there's nothing you can do. Can I have your name, sir? Yes, Ryan Hutz. And who do you work with? The DA's office. DA's office, okay. And your name, sir? Chris Liston. Work with the uh, DA's office. And do you guys have badge numbers? Some ID, ID number 15. Yeah. What about you? 13? Yep. And I'm 11. 11, okay. So, so go, it goes up and down the, the chain there. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right. So I'm just going to finish up taking pictures, and then I'll be out of here like I told them very calmly just like i am right now so well, if, there's a, if there's an issue or a situation that is going on that we can assist in or help out with is i know you said that but i don't i don't need anything i just need to finish what i'm doing here together the content and sir may i ask what you're doing for your content um yeah i don't i don't expose that because it could it could uh you know mess up the story that i'm doing right story with so. you. I, I missed the beginning so i apologize coming in afterwards if you've already explained yourself sir what do you mean yeah I, i'm not i'm not gonna do it again i'm just taking pictures pretty easy well in this taking. day and age when people are taking pictures of a public office you can see how it kind of sounds and and is for the situation that's been going all over the nation so hmm. i just appreciate if you work with us we're here being cooperative with you well so we're i mean I, i'm as well. being as cooperative as i have to be so oh, was there something that you're disgruntled with or they didn't assist no, you on no, no, like no, 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 I, no, I don't, I don't have time to talk. I need to finish what I'm doing. Sorry. <laughs> I'm not going to keep going round and round, question and question here. Okay. Do they have the hmm? Yeah. That's as nothing wrong. Okay. And now there's other. Hi. Hello. How are you doing, sir? Good. Okay. You can go this way if you'd like to. Right, well, I see the stop sign there. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. So can you see why it's kind of making... Can you, can you back up? Yeah. You're a little I close. I don't okay. want people to have... Arm length, okay. Information. But, what's, what's, that, what's that mean? <laughs> and what's that mean? Is that a law? <laughs> Is it a law? It's one of the rules. Is it a law? It's not a law. Okay, Bay fam, let me just stop that right there. This man who is a district attorney, a district attorney investigator, he works with lawyers, picks up a sign that says no cell phones, and is trying to enforce this on me. And when asked if this was a law, he says it's not a law. I mean, I literally cannot make this stuff up. Let's keep going. Okay, well, then we don't enforce rules and policies. Okay. <laughs> we enforce laws. 
Okay. Well, it's just so, right there. Negative. Right now it says no cell phone, sir. Doesn't matter. So it's not a law. It's not a law. This is a public okay. office. Right. I am in public. Okay. okay. The Supreme Court has ruled no, that I can take. Like Ma'am, quiet. No, no. The Supreme Court has ruled <laughs> that I can take pictures in public. Okay. Anything that's open to the public, you have no expectation of privacy in public. So anything you guys are saying is incorrect. Okay, it's so not a law. She, she just told you has to it be doesn't like matter what she said, yes, but is that true. a law? Okay, so how does it not matter what I say and it doesn't matter what you say? Well, because I'm a private citizen and you're a public servant, so it's a little different. Exactly, and I have right. a duty to protect this office. And I have a right to be in public. I have a right to be in public lobby. I have a right to gather content for my story. And I have a right to get the paperwork that I'm going to get after. Okay. So, so you, need to step outside. you guys are going to have to put your hands on me. I'm telling you because I'm not going to move. Well, then I'm not. I'm not moving. Period. So asking you to step out before. I'm not going to happen. It's not going to happen. I I have content to gather for a story. I'm not going to leave. This is public, and I can be here. I suggest you go ask one of your lawyers up there before you do something dumb. Okay. Okay. Well, you will. You will. It's you're asking, and I'm denying the request. I can be here. That sign is not a law. Okay, so you, you can be here if you have business here. But so you guys turn your this is on. business. Put this is called the First Amendment, sir. Okay, put yourself on your negative. Phone. No, not gonna happen. Okay. No. This is the First Amendment, and I have a right to be here. And the Supreme Court's ruled over and over in a public office I can do this. So, if you guys are gonna escalate the situation, go ahead, and I'll, <laughs> I'll happily attach myself to your pension and make sure you guys uh, okay. get reprimanded. So. So Other than that, I'm not moving. Us our name? Mm -hmm. your name, sir? I don't give it. You have to. You're a public servant, right? I yeah. Know that. So that's it. I know. But I'm just asking as a courtesy. Pretty you simple. Answer. I don't see why you guys are escalating the situation. Well, we're not. We're having a com conversation, and no. you, can, you can see. No, you guys know. are cornering me. This guy's yelling, talking about there's a sign here. Get out! And you guys are pushing. It doesn't matter. You to abide by the sign. It does not so. matter. That's a policy, not a law. I don't have to <coughs> abide by that. So it's that simple. I don't know why you guys don't get it. So, <laughs> anyways, I need to continue what I'm doing. So unless you guys are going are, are detaining me or something, I'm going to go about my business. So am I being illegally detained or something? Okay, I know, and here's here's where I can enter and continue to do my job. So well, right now it's saying to stop and wait until you're being asked. You're is that, to have a, is that a law? Of is still not a law. I never said I don't have any type of business. I said right now this is my business, and then I'm going to get some paperwork from you, and it's on camera report. So that's business. On top of that, this right here, gathering content for my story, is legally considered we're business. To help so you in whatever situation I don't need any to help. So I'm going to continue to. Well, yeah, I'll, I'll end up. Asking. I'll end up getting that. Right now, I'm going to take pictures. So I have steps. First, I'm going to take my pictures. Them, so being done. No, I, no, I need different angles and all kinds of stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of pictures well, I'll take. So. It doesn't matter what they're asking. So they have the right. They have the right to ask you. <laughs> Negative. This is public. They, 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 this is public. So, this is public. If, if this is public, sir, if you is have it not? Something to do here, then you can I do. Here. But they have signs that say no cell phones. It, you okay. you have to like Let me get you guys from this angle, okay? <laughs> they're, they're trying to. They're trying to hold me up in here. So, so I'll let you know. I know, and I can go in here too, and there's nothing you can do. So stop. Let's go. <laughs> it's not going to happen. I have business in here, and I'm conducting it right now. You could have taken your business, and instead you're impeding other people. I'm not impeding anything. You guys are stopping me from conducting my business. They have a nice deal. So here's the deal. It doesn't matter. What's that matter? What law is that, sir? What law? What law? They cannot. This is public. If you have business in here, then go do your business. Besides this. No, this is going to be done as well. But no. You don't have a choice, bud. You're not the boss here. This is a public lobby. The Supreme Court's ruled on this over and over. I can record in public. People know have it, have no expectation of privacy in public. Look it up. There's there's like ten of them. Look it up. I do. I do. Go ahead. Look it up. I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to be your teacher. Look it up. It's pretty simple. I am. I know that you can't do anything about me being here. It's very clear. 
And I know that I need to conduct my business and you're stopping me at this point. This is a public. You guys have been stopping me for about the last 12 minutes. And it's on camera. I don't need to ask for anything. I need to take my pictures where I want to. And then I need to ask for the paperwork I need. And then I need to leave and be on about my way on my business. And if you guys are in the DA's office, you should go back and wait for me because I'm going to hop in there too. And I'm going to do the same exact thing. Okay. With so what? what do you need to do, sir? I'm, I'm taking pictures. That's it. So it's that simple. That simple. Well, it's not that simple. It is. I'm going to take here pictures. All of our time here, I, and I don't, I have no clue why you're here. I have no clue why you're here. I'm being very cordial mm -hmm. and you guys are, creating a disturbance for the most part so and it doesn't seem like you guys understand the way the law works so you, you like like this guy who's obviously law enforcement is trying to enforce a policy which is feelings and you can't enforce feelings sir you you can only enforce laws so what but, law but, would this be okay <laughs> so you guys but should like go back to work but you're dismissed okay. i don't need you okay I don't need anything okay. from you. I don't need you either. Okay. So okay. go back to work. Yeah. And I'm going to continue to do my job. Okay. Well, whatever. So. You guys are dismissed. I don't need you guys. I need to go back to do my work. Am I being detained is the question. Well, there's the exit. Right? Am yeah. I being detained? No. The exit. Yes or no? Am I being detained? You're not, you're not being detained. We're not going to allow you to walk around here and film. You don't have a choice. I do. You do. You don't. <laughs> well, unless you're going to physically detain me, I am going to walk around here and take pictures. So, and if you are, then you're going to create a lawsuit for the county. I suggest you don't do that. I suggest you actually go look up the law, sir. This is a public lobby. I'm allowed to take pictures in public. People have no expectation of privacy in public. It's been ruled on several times. So, is there anything else you guys need from me? Because I need to continue with my job. Camera's gonna turn a little bit here. Jesus Christ. All right, I don't understand these people, but. So what they're doing is basically locking me in a corner, trying to push me out the door. You got them holding the door open. We got a smart guy here. Go ahead, sir, you good. Yeah, just taking some pictures. Being a costa, don't worry, I won't get you. I'm not worried about private citizens at all. Okay, so we're just, uh... Is there anything that we can do right now to um, to help what you're needing to help? Uh, answer, answer that question already. I'm just asking going back, again. Going back to work would be a good idea. Well, this is my work right now. So. This and, is? And as I'm, as I'm doing this, I'm trying to work here on my mobile. So give me one second, well, sir. You guys are, are basically here for a cameraman, and that's your work? I'm getting a lot of calls. So just trying to understand what business you need and try to help you. Again, I'm, I'm not going to speak about it anymore. I'm going to go ahead and well, use my Fifth here. Amendment right. Doesn't matter. It's public. Well. I'm allowed to do this in public. So I'm not going to. You've been going around and around and cle and with so questions you, using so your so investigator you. tactics. No, I'm just not going to answer. Them. So that's it. I'm just not going to answer. Them. Okay. So All right. I'm going to go about my business and then I'm going to grab the paperwork I need and then I'll be out of here. And it's that simple. I'm not going to answer questions. It was pretty clear. So, anyways, I'll see you guys later. If I'm not being detained, I'm allowed to do my thing, and I'm going to continue to do my thing. Don't worry about it. I won't get you. Perfect. Oh, my goodness. These guys are something else. This is the other one. I'm extremely surprised that... People that work for the Butte County District Attorney would not understand this and would try to enforce this as a law. 
rather than a policy and feelings. That's something, something very interesting for the DA's office, and they're gonna get the whole county sued. Okay. Here goes this guy who's gonna tell him there's nothing we can do, and he can do this, and and that's it. <laughs> All right, go let them know I can be here and this is okay. <laughs> it's, this is business hours. If you close it, you close it to everybody, not just me. Uh -huh. To every everybody. Yeah, go ahead. That's fine. If you guys are going to waste the public's resources and money, I'll make sure I get that on film as well and expose it. And we got... Oh, that was professional. Kathy. Kathy, accounting specialist, called me an idiot. All right. We got this lady with her camera instead of working. You, you do, but not while you're working. Cool. Awesome. This is now closed. Okay, cool. Yeah, everybody, once everybody leaves, then then I will, I'll have no problem. But I need a... Closing the office. Yep. Yeah. Okay, no All right. Sorry. Did everybody leave? So they are closing the office. I still got people in here. They're going to refuse to give me my paperwork that I need. What is it? So you have to Stay right here. Not yet, because I'm taking pictures. What part of this don't you get, bud? You're too used to being the boss, and you're not the boss, okay? You're not the boss. Unless somebody commits a crime. Or you have reasonable suspicion of a right, crime, okay? Closed. I know. And what am I doing? I'm walking, right? I appreciate you walking. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. And I'll just Hi. stay right here. And what's your name? It's Kylie Patterson. Okay. I'll make sure you, you're no gonna problem. you're gonna hear from like that's, fifty thousand people. That's great. So great. I hope I hope you lose your job. We will. We will. I promise you. We will. <laughs> this is the lady that has the attitude that closed the office because somebody's recording. And you got these people that work for the DA's office who are trying to enforce laws. Excuse me, partner. Oh, it's, it's locked there, huh? They close the office during work hours. Oh, you got, you got these idiots over here saying some people ruin it for others. I agree. How you doing? The, the lady who just closed the office, she definitely ruined it for others. I agree with you. Well, I think you might have done that. No, oh, taking, being exercising for some MRI. It's There's okay, no disrespect. Being a little rude when they're asking there was, you not to do that. When that's, a it, that's, not, that's not rude. It's public and you can do it. Mm -hmm. but did Law you, enforcement, did you right? There? Law enforcement Clearly. or yeah. feelings? Clearly. Or feelings. Yeah. Which one? Because mm -hmm. okay, she tried to enforce feelings. And those two clowns on there try to enforce feelings. So and what you're saying... And I can do I can do that. Totally I, I can, totally have the option to do that. Too, and you can stay here all day. Actually, actually the you public pay taxes to keep those offices open. Yeah. So really they can. Level, and yeah. so what's going to happen is when I put this out mm -hmm. and we start complaining and, and filing, sending emails and calling, they're going to get a big earful. And then tomorrow I'll come back, right? And I'll go back in and it'll be totally different. It won't close. Nobody will say anything. They'll all be educated. So that's actually doing good. As well as you guys will be educated as well. Might be a little delusional. Am I? Mm -hmm. Well, we'll find out, huh? Okay. Yeah, yeah we'll find we out. Yeah. Because I've done this in, in, in hundreds of counties all across the state. <laughs> so Congratulations. I, I might know a little bit more about what I'm talking about than you do. So. Okay, of course. Yeah, anyways. Uh, yeah, uh-huh. Pride comes before the fall. What an idiot. We'll just, they're supposed to be open for another hour, so that's good. Cool. I'll be here an hour. No problem. So this is the lady who called me an idiot for no reason. After being very, very respectful. Extremely respectful. Excuse me, sir, right behind you. 
You guys shouldn't even be here, honestly. Called you for no reason. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> Is that what you were thinking? Yeah. <laughs> are you just following me around, or do you need anything? Oh, I'm just gonna hang out. I'm just, I just, you know, listen. I like conversations. Well, you only listen to our conversation. I'm curious. I you're, do. You're, you're, you're fine to be here, mm -hmm. but I'm having a private conversation. You no, know, take it in private. So, yeah, this is pleasant. Yeah. Hey, Robbie, hang out here. We'll go inside real quick. Cool. Yeah, yeah. What's your name, sir? My name is Officer Eric. Okay. Police Department. Badge number? It is seventeen. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So. Just curious. We're gonna go inside the secure facility. Do what you right do. Now, mm -hmm. so. Yep. Do what you do. And I'll be right here. Okay. And I'll okay. wait. I'll wait for you. All right. No, we're gonna wait because we don't have a code, and we're not gonna have access to our code. So we'd like to oh, okay. conversation with us. Can you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I can't go in there. You're right. Mm -hmm. But there's a code, and you're videoing it right away. So I'm asking you to meet us right where we're meeting. You. Well, you're not meeting me anywhere because they just closed an office and you guys sat there and tried to kick me out of it for 20 minutes. That's not meeting me anywhere. And you guys need to learn that this is okay to do. Uh, I'll let you guys go in yours and then I'll go up in the the public entrance to the to the DA's office. Yeah, public's upstairs. Mm -hmm. down yeah, yeah, I'll just wait for you to go in. All good. And I'm not interested in your code either. I could care less. So, oh, You're going this way. Here, I'll talk to you over here. You guys can block it. I, don't, I could care less about your code. I don't break laws, man. Well, I obey all the laws. So, okay. And I know them well, as you could probably tell. Well, when, when my partner <laughs> asked you what case law you were citing, you didn't I can give. I can give them. I don't need to. Okay, Bay Fam. Here we go with this again. If you can't say it, you can't cite the case. You can't give us the name. You can't say the penal code, so on and so forth. You must not know it. And I'll be the first to admit. I don't memorize all the penal codes. I don't memorize what they all say. I don't memorize all the case laws that I read or the names of the case laws and things of that nature. And I also don't believe that telling these people these case laws at this time is even going to teach them anything because I believe that they already know that there is no reasonable expectation of privacy in public. They just don't like what I'm doing, so they're trying to intimidate me out of my rights. It's pointless to have a legal talk with police officers most of the time. That's what I believe, and that's why I stopped doing it a long time ago as well. I don't want to sit there and have the same thing said in my videos over and over and over again what i will say is off the top of my head i believe that cats versus the united states was the first case to explore reasonable expectation of privacy though i could be wrong and i believe it's like a 1960s or 70s or maybe even a 50s case i'm not too sure but many other cases have came after it, like Smith versus Cummings and so on. There's many cases that are Supreme Court cases, and there's some cases that are Circuit Court cases. But just because I don't spit these things out here with these police officers and have these arguments or legal discussions doesn't mean that I don't read these things and know some of these things. Again, I'm not an expert, but I know a thing or two. So let's proceed. Don't let police fool you or throw you off your game when they say if you can't say it you must not know it read up on these things learn these things bat let's get back to the video i can easily well, give them to you, you. you look you, but and that's what i'm saying you guys should look them up <laughs> and when i send my complaint and emails as far as what you guys violated right or tried to you guys didn't uh, exactly succeed then the case law will be in there for sure but, you know, it's that simple. I don't, I'm not out here to spit off all the case laws to you guys. But, I mean, it's, it's pretty simple. It's just it's the, it, I know, but it's the... So the easiest one is the First Amendment, right? <laughs> Freedom of what? Press, right? And it's free press. It's not, well, we have a press card and this and that. Anybody's press, right? Even you guys when you're off duty. Mm -hmm. And you can go record anywhere you want. As long as it's public, right? And you're going to say what? I just think what? I just think when it's a building like that, you shouldn't do it. Da, da, da. I'll be good here. Okay. Yeah. And all, what I was going to say to that is that's feelings, not law. Law only. Right? So, anyway, so I'll just hang out with you guys. We got, we got some cops leaving. One cop said he has no clue why he's here because I'm not doing anything wrong. See, and I don't care about your code. Okay. Thank so, you, sir. Take care. You too. Oh, boy. So, you try to be respectful to them and you got some who are calling you idiots and all kind of stuff we have a bunch of private citizens out here who i will not get on the camera 
and we got a bunch of public servants who don't understand the way the law works. So this guy was trying, this guy right here, and where's my finger, that guy, was trying to enforce this sign. Because they say no cell phones, you can't have a cell phone. And that's not the way it works. And you have this lady back here who's kind of hiding behind this pillar, who literally closed the office during business hours, during business hours, and is not letting people in. And this is the treasury tax collector for Butte County out here in Oroville, California. All right, all right, Bay Fam. What I will do is I'm gonna go to this other office over here, the assessor, and I'm gonna um, go, go ahead and go into that office. And I'm gonna see that when I come back, if they let these people in and they have the doors locked, then they're specifically keeping me out for exercise of my first amendment, right? And um, at that point, that will be more to give them an earful about. All right, so they, they're all walking to the back again. And you got this lady who was extra, extra rude right here. She was so rude, it was unbelievable, man. That lady was mean. Oh, they let somebody in. Look at that, kicking us out, but let this guy in. So just like I thought, doors locked. You guys can see, doors locked, doors locked. And you have an individual here who's back in there, who was in there in the beginning. So they're doing exactly what I thought they would do when I walk away, they would let people in and uh, purposely keep me out. So. Now that I got that on camera, I can go ahead and get out of here. All right, all right, Bay fam. It's your boy, Bay Area Transparency. Back at it once again, Butte County Admin. We got this uh, little DA uh, office wannabe. Oh, and we got this clown too. This guy was kind of trying to enforce feelings. Not the smartest guy in the world. Hope you learned something, babe. What's that? Said, I hope you learned something. What was the last part? Babe. Babe? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, why, why'd you think I said bitch? I can do that too. Okay. But I don't typically disrespect people like that. Although you guys disrespected me by trying to violate my First Amendment, right? I still I'm wouldn't. To, or was not trying to at all. Well, you did. Making those ladies in there. That's not a law, bud. That's that's okay. feelings again, remember? Only laws. That's all you can enforce. Other than that, you have no authority. You gotta remember that. Well, I mean that's what we pay you for. Just do what we pay you for, not extra shit.